the word on the street my parts here here it is right here he said a box here this is my starter you know what i don't see mopar anywhere on this thing so i want to know what the hell is this what kind of starter is this guys some of these starters are so freaking hard to do you only want to go in with top quality starters okay now if this is what i think it is we might have a problem okay okay let me get this open oh i got a lot of paper and pay oh my good oh my duralast come on guys y'all sent me a damn box with a freaking door i want my bar i don't want this crap what the hell is going on around here man come oh my goodness i can't oh look at this <sighs> anybody heard of door last okay is this good Nothing is better than Mopar, guys. I'm forced to use this garbage, okay? This is not Mopar or no car. <laughs> Will it work? Will it last is my thing. I only want to do this once because this is hard to do on a Cherokee. Y'all stay tuned, man. Guys, here go this Cherokee that has the starter. Now, we're getting ready to put a damn Duralat starter in it. Y'all saw that short video from yesterday. All right, now let's see if I can start it. Y'all hear that? Just a click. Yes, you need a starter, guys. How many miles? Because somebody, uh, 164,000 miles. Man, we got to get it pushed in. All right, guys, we got it in, as you can see, using that damn pusher right there. Now, let me prove something to a hater that seemed to think uh, starter, Mopar starting on the last. Y'all see that? 164,000 miles, roughly. All right? To that hater that think this starter went out at 25,000 miles. No! Mopar starters last a lot longer than that, guys. I got work to do, man. So this is why I only want to go in with high-quality Mopar starters, not this Duralast gold crap, okay? Because this starter is extremely hard to put on. It is tucked down way underneath there, guys. So all of this stuff got to come off and underneath that actually may have to come off. This is a starter from hell. Y'all stay tuned for the long video. I'll show y'all how I get it out. We almost there with this garbage Duralast gold starter, okay? Yeah. The old one is still on, hanging on by one boat, which happens to be way to freak down there. I had to remove this complete PDC fuse box. Yes, guys, this is not a tip. -em. This is a typical fuse box. The battery is out of the way. Everything is out of my way. Now, here go the hardest part about this whole job. The battery is out of the way. All of that to gain access to that upper starter boat. Now, I did have to remove this water line right here, so just get that up out of the way. I don't know if I can zoom in all the way down there, but that last top boat for this starter right here is where we're going out there. Now, you see what I got here? In fact, I'm doing a long video, so I'm going to show all of this in my long video. Right now, I'm just going through the quick, uh, what I'm up against, okay? Yes, this is why you want to go in with quality parts. I really want a Mopar starter, but I don't have one, so I don't only want to do this job once. That's what I'm trying to point out. So, I'm, you're going to have to grab your swivel, your extension, all the way down there to get a good bite on it. All right, y'all stay tuned for the full video.
Alrighty, guys. Woo. Yeah. Your boy came through. All right. Now, like I said to the haters out there, y'all see that? Yes. That is a milk part starter. Okay. It is a genuine OEM part that's been on this car since birth. However, the car now has, what we say, 164. Remember, I showed the miles. I put another clip right here uh, for all the other guys that. <laughs> Seem to think a starter is supposed to last forever. Yes, guys, it's okay for a starter to go bad on a car with 160,000 miles. Now, the big decision to be made is which starter do you go back on with it? Now, let's do some math right quick. If I can get 160,000 miles out of this OEM starter, why shouldn't I want a, a starter of the same caliber, right? I'm guaranteed at least 150,000 miles out of a starter just like this. This is a 2014 model, so it's not an old car. That would be means, my option, but this is an unknown, okay? I'm not, that, I'm not saying it's garbage or junk. Well, I am saying that because I'm comparing it with a Mopar. All right, but I have no choice but to go back on with this. Uh, what is this? Y'all see that? I forgot who made that. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I got work to do. I'm going to end this video. Y'all saw how I got that out. Uh, I wanted to highlight the struggles just in case anybody else getting ready to do it. Some people would take their intake manifold off. No, guys, it's about improvisions, okay? Learn that word, improvision. All right, guys, I got to go. Thanks for watching. Guys, I think I caught it. I think I'm finally able to duplicate it. Look at this. I see that? Oh, I see what's going on. So, anytime you hear the chiming, the bus network is up. But if not... Okay, this is an intermittent no crank. All right, I see what's going on. That's a problem with this key. See that? Y'all see that? Sometimes it starts, sometimes it won't. It don't matter how long you hold it. See that? I'm holding it in the crank position. No cranking. Yeah, I know what's wrong with it, man. Y'all stay tuned for the full video. You ready, guys? Real quick, got this Cherokee right here. Came in for, with a cooling leak, guys. Now, I want y'all to look at what Cousin Pookie did. Okay, now, I popped the hood. Normally, I would pressure test the system, try to help pinpoint the leak. But there was no need to do that on this one, guys. So, obviously, they had a leak before or prior. And uh, Cousin Pookie found it necessary to take this 5-8 hose and run instead of replacing the broken parts run a smaller hose in between this hose and this hose all right so the ending result says after running for a while you see all they cooling down now yeah that's so not a good idea guys um uh, don't do that now these parts are known for breaking a plastic all right all right, you gotta get a new part it's as simple as that and new one i get it's gonna be plastic so uh, yeah, I mean, they lasted. It lasted a while, but it's just leaking now. So we got to get it replaced. And poor cousin Pookie, look, he even went with worm clamps. Oh, poor guy. Stay tuned, y'all.